Can you tell me a little bit how you, how's the pain doing? Like, how are you feeling right now? How's everything? Um, right now, I don't have any pain. Good. Yeah. Not right now, anyways. Okay. Whenever I start doing things, so when it starts to hurt. So as soon as you start moving, is that when the pain comes back? Yes. Good. On a scale of one to ten, like one or zero being no pain at all, ten being the worst pain you've ever had, what would you put it when you start moving it, though? Um, probably a seven. Seven out of ten? Okay. Okay. That's normal, though. It's only been a few weeks since you've had your surgery. Yeah. And you said it's about a you put about a zero? Yeah, ten. I don't have any pain right now. Okay, so zero to ten about moving. Set. All right, okay, great. Well, um, and you said that some of your activities could be trouble, like what, like your daily activities? Like, yeah, like reaching above my head, just put my hair up or put dishes away or okay. reaching behind my back. Okay, so just basic daily life is still pretty hard with that left arm. Yes, my okay. right arm does most of my yeah, work right now. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's, again, that's somewhat to be expected time and that's part of um, part of the goals with our treatments and today especially one of our goals is really going to be working on increasing some of that mobility in the shoulder so you can start getting some of that range of motion back so that would be great. Um, some of our treatments really focused on that um, I know that you've been having some pain so we're going to try to kind of incorporate a little bit of everything to kind of take care of some of the pain get some of that mobility back as well as trying to start to really strengthen that shoulder because one of the things that's really going to help you use your shoulder flexors for some injury in the future is to be able to have proper strength and just um, it's called recruitment, but it's basically being able to use your shoulder and your and your spine, all those structures correctly okay. when we move. That way we can prevent this from happening again. Right, that would be great. So, um, does that sound okay? Are you you okay with that treatment over there? Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Sounds like that. Um, just to start out, we're going to start out just with some basic. Um, we're going to do a type of massage. So okay. it's just going to be really gentle. Um, I know that your pain said you about seven to ten with motion and stuff. Um, some of the treatment today probably will increase. It's going to be a little bit tender, and that's normal. Um, but our goal is to keep it from getting unbearable. So if any of the pain is too much for you, I want you to let me know, okay? okay I'll let so you know for sure. I'll be asking throughout the treatment, but your feedback is going to be really helpful through this time, okay? All right. But the massage that we're going to set up with is actually, it usually feels really, really good. People like it. Yeah, wait. So yeah, you don't, need to feel <laughs> don't feel nervous about that. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to have you do is it's on your left shoulder. I'm actually going to have you lay down on your right side. So you're just going to be on your right side. And your left shoulder's going to be up and steady. Yep, just like that. I'm going to take that. I'm going to just motion things real quick. And I'm going to be working on your shoulder for about 10 minutes, okay? Okay. So like I said, again, this usually feels really good with people. It's very relaxing. I'm just going to be bringing some of the blood to that, those muscles just to help them relax so they can handle the treatment a little bit better today, okay? All right, sounds great. Okay. Just going to warm that up a little bit. Okay. Are you comfortable there where you are? Yeah, this okay. is comfortable. Perfect. All right. I apologize for my hands being a little bit cool there. We'll warm up, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm actually going to have you, um, Adrian. I'm going to have you scoot back a little bit towards me. Okay. Towards you? Mm-hmm. How does that feel? That's good. Feel that's better. There you go. That's better. Okay. That's better. Is that okay for you still? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Just helps me access some of these muscles. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to start. We're going to work up to here, my shoulder, and we're going to work a little bit on the scapular muscles. Okay. Which is this bone in this area right here. Oh, your hands yeah. are cold. Yes, I'm just sorry. <laughs> Put them together real quick. I'm going to make it a timer so I can. Keep track. Alright, now I'm going to take a few measurements, okay? Okay, okay. and it will be warm up, okay? Okay. okay. You bend your knee up, okay? Okay, then. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. And then. Okay. Yeah. Let me know again if anything is super tender or if it's just a little bit too much for you, okay? Uh, okay. Actually feels pretty good. Good. Yeah, it should feel really relaxing. Okay. Our goal is just to kind of warm up those muscles so they're ready to do some work today. Okay. Good. All right. Um, so now I'm going to have you flip over on your back. Yeah, it's a little tender. Okay. Is it too much? No. Okay, good.
transition healed up really nicely. Yeah, it's really tight. Yeah. So, and I'm going to have you do it. Okay. So, I'm going to do this. Wrap your arms around your thigh. Okay. All right. And then pull it as close as you can. Yeah, it's just very stiff. And then raise yeah, it. Yeah, it's, yeah. And then pull it there. Okay? Well, those muscles probably, they haven't been moving for a while. And yeah. I don't use it very much. Mm -hmm. I kind of guard it. Yeah. Okay, Some of these that. motions are going to help kind of get, right. get the yeah, muscles used to working again, okay? About okay. Four or five, four or five sets. So, and we will go over this at the end of the treatment, but I'm going to give you a couple of exercises to work on your own at home. Okay. And that's going to be really helpful for kind of right. keeping that stiffness down to a minimum and eventually working back to getting full range of motion in this arm again. Okay, so I'll just do them at home? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yep. Most people like doing them like once in the morning or once in the evening. Some people like doing them on their lunch breaks at work. Okay. So you can find whatever time is best for you. That doesn't sound bad. But yeah, just work it into your schedule. But we can go over that more at the end. <laughs> it's not like an icicle anymore. Right. It's still fun to center your shoulder a little bit. Okay. Is my shirt okay? Oh yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. You actually wore a perfect shirt for today's treatment. So. Notice some stiffness up in here a little bit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just scratch out everything else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this may feel good, but some of the other exercises are going to be a little bit more important when it comes to actually getting some strength back into that arm. So, so I can get it above my head better. Yes, yeah, so you can get back to being able to bathe and dress yourself like normal okay. with some of those things. This isn't getting it too intense yet? No, not at all. Good. Okay, one more time. We just want to wake some of those muscles up. Yeah, they haven't been used very much. Yeah. <laughs>
bring this one back up. Thank you. I'm gonna try to round these both a little bit in front of the shoulder. Is that okay? Yeah. One more minute, and then we'll wrap that up. We can keep going if you want. <laughs> well, we have a fairly full schedule to do, so you need to make sure you get some of the other activities in for your treatment. Is it okay if I call you Adrian, or do you prefer yeah. Sally? No, Adrian's fine. Okay, Adrian. And we are all done with that. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. Push yourself up and take your right arm, and you can swing your leg down onto the side. So. First motion we're going to do is we're actually going to do the oral function. I don't know. I know that you're the therapist that is out of you probably talk through some of these motions, but I'm going to talk through them again. Okay. So um, with flexion, with this motion, what I'm going to have you do is um, your your thighs are going to stay up. Okay. Alright. And shouldn't be in our way. I'm going to have you just go ahead and lift that arm up as far as you can. Yeah, straight up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to measure this real quick and I'll have you pump this in a few seconds, okay? Okay, now is that as far as you can move it up? Yep. Okay. I'm getting about 80 degrees. Go ahead and relax now, okay? Go ahead and bring it back down. these real quick and then okay good now we're going to do something called abduction okay so you're going to be bringing out to your side this time your thumb is still going to stay up and then we're just going to be bringing that arm on as much as you can out to the side okay up this way yep just up to the side perfect i'm going to step along to the side does that hurt too much to hold up for just a second no i can okay good about as far as I can go, though. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are you tired? You're probably going to be sore tomorrow. Is this one going to be like power oh. bonus? Is all I'm going to do? I know. That's how I'm going to do it. Good. Is this one going to be like power bonus? Is all I'm going to do? 
and you're getting about 115. Go ahead and relax. Bring it back down. All right. Here, is it hurting too much to move him? No, okay. it's okay. Okay, good. Now we're going to do something called internal range of motion. Okay. So on this one, you can move back just a little bit. That way your arm has somewhere to rest. I'm just going to put a tab gently underneath this arm. What I'm going to have you do now is I'm just going to have you bring the arm back to about 90 degrees, so to speak. Is that too much? No. We're saying? Okay, good. Is that good right there? Yeah, no, this is good. Perfect. And what I want you to do for internal range of motion, I'm just going to have you bring your arm, just let it drop down as far as it'll go, okay? Again, don't let it hurt too much, but I want to see what how much you have actively, okay? I'm just going to be putting my hand just on something called a coracoid process right here to make sure that your scapula doesn't move too much, okay? Because okay. I don't want you to bring your whole shoulder up. Just let your arm move, okay? Just let my arm drop down? Yeah. Is that okay? That's about as far as I can go. Okay, good. Hold it for just a second, okay? Good. Okay, I'm getting about 140 today, okay? Okay. No, actually, wait. So oh, sorry. Now we're getting about 50. Okay. So 50 internal. And then I'm going to have you go ahead and bring it back into external rotation, okay? As far as I can go. That's okay. Just hold it for one second for me. Good, 50 internal, and now we have about 35 external. Okay, go ahead and relax. Bring it down to your side, just hold that for a second. I'm going to write these down real quick, okay? Symmetric mobility, okay? okay? So I'm going to go ahead and um, we're going to do some passive range of motion. So I'm going to be moving some of that, your arm with you, and you're going to be giving me a little bit of active as well. You can do it on your own, okay? okay. Just moving it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just some basic range of motion, okay? Put this tab out of the way. That's right there. Just All right, that's side. We're going to have you scoot a little bit over to the side of the table, good. okay? Yeah. Because I want to make sure the table's not blocking our, our moves. So, okay. Is that comfortable? We're going to bring it back down. And again, with this motion, we're, again, we're going to keep the thumb up, okay? And we're going to do some basic flexion, okay? So, see whatever is, is that painful? I'll just move it a little bit further. That's about as far as I can go. Okay. Let's do that a few times. Yeah, it gets a little painful if I go a little farther. Okay, that's fine. We just want to kind of go to where that pain is, okay? Go to as far as you can without too much pain. There you go. For one more time, so I want to do okay? Good. Is that okay? Yeah. Alright, let me know if it gives you too much. Now let's go into some abduction, okay? okay. So we're just going to. Which way you want me to go? Out. Yep, yeah. yeah. out to your side. No, no. no. Yeah. No, too much. No, you can go a little Go to where you feel the pain. That's okay. far as far. Okay. Very yes, and that's what this motion is. This is we're just kind of breaking up some of those adhesions and just kind of getting some mobility back in the shoulder, just so it gets used to moving again. Alright. One more. Good. Feels good. Now let's bring the arm up and let's do some internal external range of motion, okay? Okay. Let's go ahead and scoot back a little bit. We're going to go down okay. forward. So we're just. Is that as far? Okay. Yep. That's okay. Will that get better? Yep, that's part of our goal. Our goal is just to start okay. increasing that as much as possible. It. So we have this to start somewhere. Better, okay. Does it? Yeah. Good. So. That's what we want. All right. It's fine for us now. Let's go ahead and move to external rotation. Just go back. So mm -hmm. it feel good for most of the day, but later on, it might. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just can't go very far. 
That's okay. We'll go as far as we can and make progress from there, so right? How would you rate your pain now? Um, Very good. Maybe a two. About three. Okay. Three out of ten. Good. Yes, I'll. How's it doing? Good. Not doing too bad? Not too bad. Wonderful. Well, awesome. Thanks for choosing it. It was nice working with you. Thank you. Um, the home exercise program. Uh-huh. Um, like I said, you can do the stretches okay. where you hold here. and then Now I want to see if we can do eight. some of those exact um, motions, but I want you to do it as much as you can on your own. I can give you a good sit here. But let's see how much of the flexion, and some of the internal rotation, and abduction and stuff. If, it, if you can do that more on your own, okay? So let's go ahead and start back on this side, keeping this guy come down. We're keeping the thumb up, and bring, go ahead and bring it up into flexion as much as you can. Up my head. Yep, up into the air. Up on the side. Very good. Is that as far as you can go? Yeah. That's fine. I probably need to do that again. Mm -hmm. Do go for three times again. It's, a, it's okay for it to be stiff. We're just gonna try to move through that. I didn't introduce myself. I'm just, you know, introducing you. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Which one? Which one was it? Two. That was the one that you did. Just three. Yeah. Okay. Let's do abduction now, okay? So, bring it on out. Okay, good. Very good. Go ahead and drop it down to the full. We're down to internal rotation. Very good. Just as far as I can go. Mm -hmm, that's fine. One more time. There we go. Good. Now drop it back into external range of motion, okay? Two more. Two. Very good. Moving well. Right. Right. Now let's go ahead and try to see if we can do a little bit of stretching, okay? Okay. So let's stay where we are just to save time. Go ahead. Have you jump up and down all a bunch <laughs> of times? Let's go ahead and just practice stretching some of that external and internal range of motion, okay? So just tell me where to go. We're gonna go back to where we were. Try to be really familiar. This okay. especially by the end of the day. <laughs> but that's okay. So I want to see just as much as you can do on your own. Well, we're gonna I'm gonna be moving with you, but I wanted to see if we can take it past that end range just a little bit, okay? And I want you to count for two. And then you're gonna do this on your own, okay? Okay. So one, try to stretch it and bring it back up. Now try to move it forward again. Count for two. Back down to center. Good. And let's do it into external rotation, okay? So again, going back and count to one, two. And just try to keep moving it slowly and steadily through, okay? Good. Back again. Two. Very good. How'd that feel? Good. Do you feel like, are we getting, I mean, how's the pain right now? Um, it definitely went up a little bit really? just as I'm moving it, but yeah. I think the stiffness is getting better. Good, you can feel it loosen up already. Yeah. Perfect. So would you say it's about like an eight or? Um, maybe around there. Okay. Maybe not quite an eight. Okay, no, that's fine. I would like to keep it a below a nine if possible and not, at least just not getting too much higher than a nine, okay? Okay. So, we want to make sure that your arm still feels good enough to move afterwards. <laughs> so. Let's go into, let's go have you guys sit up for me, okay? Swing your legs over to the side. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to do some flexion and abduction for stretching. Okay, so again, you can go ahead and stand up, okay? And we're going to do that same range of motion, that flexion. And we're going to only want you to just kind of try to push it past the end range a little bit, but not too much. Mm -hmm. Up with your thumb. Keep your elbows straight, and I want at this point, I want your scapula to stay right there. Go as far as you can. Very good. Count to two. There you go. Bring your knees back. Okay, good. You did good. 
Now one thing I want you to try to pay attention to, uh -huh. is what can I move your head? Yeah. Just move there you go. I'm gonna keep my hands on your scapula, okay? I want your shoulders to stay kind of pinched back. Okay. okay? And kind of keep your shoulders down and relaxed, but I want to make sure that your scapula muscles are doing what they need to be doing, okay? okay. So sometimes when you're doing this, you might kind of almost feel like your scapula, like your muscles in the back between your shoulder blades are kind of pinching your shoulder blades together. And that's, that's good, okay? okay? So go ahead and do this again. Do one more. One more time. Very good. Okay. Now I'm going to come around to the side and I want you to go ahead and do abduction, which is bringing it out to the side like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Just as far as you can. Good. Keep your thumb up just like that. One, two. And one more. How did it feel with those motions? Um, it was a little painful, but yeah. not too bad. Okay. You're keeping a good posture, so I want you to make sure that that posture, that we keep that throughout the whole treatment, okay? That might make it feel a little bit, you might feel the muscles working, but that's really going to be helpful, especially going forward from here. It's going to help prevent that shoulder from um, developing any bad habits, so to speak, with the muscles. So, okay, good. Good, good. So, let's do that. Let's see if we can do all that one more time, okay? Okay. So let's go ahead and just start back with flexion abduction since we're standing. Okay. So go ahead and so let's, up. Yep. Count to two. Keep your shoulders down. One, two. Keep your back down. Keep my shoulders back. Yes. Yes. One, two. Okay. And one more. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ask you to stay behind and get back on the table okay. one more time, or we're going to do some internal and external range of motion stretching. So go ahead and lay back on your back for me. Okay. There we go. Okay, go ahead and stick the edge just a little bit. And let's go ahead and do some more of the internal and external stretching, okay? So bringing them out just like this. Where do you want me to go? Go ahead and drop down. measure those action, like some of those motions again, just see if we've made any improvement at that point, okay? Just like we did before. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and bend both your knees for me. I'm going to measure some flexion. Straight up. Yep, thumb up, keep your elbows straight as you can. And then bring it straight up into the air, as far as you can go. Very good. Can you hold that for a few seconds? Mm -hmm. Is that as far as you can go? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Very good, go ahead and relax now, okay? Good, okay. We've got about three minutes to do this, okay? That's better, isn't it? Mm-hmm, right here. It is. We only had 80 when we started. That's why we're here. Let's do abduction now, okay? So again, you're going to bring your hands down, your thumb up. I'm going to try this right here. Now go ahead and bring it up to the side. Very good. Just going to bring this up. Good. Okay, relax.
Okay, let me write this down real quick and then okay. we'll do the rest. Take internal and external range of motion, okay? Now we can go ahead and flip this out if you like it. Okay. Which way do you want me to go? We're going to do internal range of motion first, okay? So let me get this ready real quick. Okay, go ahead and let it go into forward as far as it can, okay? Good. Bring it back up. 50. Okay. And external. Very good. We're getting better at external. Better external range of motion. That's getting close to. Very good. About 54. All right. Okay. Relax. Bring it down to your side. Is that better than last time? Mm hmm. Yeah. It's much better than last time. Yeah, we're going to do some manual muscle testing, okay? So I want you to go ahead and let's see here. Let's go ahead and, um, so you actually have to test the external range of motion. So let's actually just go ahead and test that okay. while we're in position. So I'll take this out. Yeah. Let's just put it right here. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do with external range of motion, okay? We're going to bring, go ahead and I would keep that about a three because we broke at minimal pressure, okay? Okay. So, but that's fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and have you take care of some now, okay? Okay. Stand up. Now we're going to do something called scaption, okay? So scaption is kind of, um, it's kind of like a diagonal motion. I mean, you're moving with your left arm, but I'm going to model this with my right arm. So it's kind of like, you know, we did flexion and abduction. This is going to be right in the middle of that, okay? okay. So you're going to be bringing it with your thumb up kind of like at an angle, okay? Now I want you to start and try to see if you just hold it straight out and pull that against gravity. Don't like, like over here. Not like here, yeah. Just hold it there. Mm -hmm. Make sure your scapula is straight. Long way. Very good. I'm going to be picky with your scapula. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. I'm going to apply pressure. I want you to try to keep this still, okay? Don't okay. let me move you. Okay, about three plus. Good, you held it this one a little bit better, okay? Okay. So very good. Okay, now we're only gonna have a one more little trap test and then we're gonna move into some exercises, okay? Okay. I'm gonna go out of the way. Now I'm gonna actually have you lay this down on this end, okay? Okay. Go ahead and lay it on the table. Lay it on your stomach, okay? Okay. Then I'm gonna tighten these up. Just like that. Good. Now what I want you to do is I want you to kind of keep your thumb up. I want you to bring it out towards this angle, okay? Is that too painful? No. Okay, and move to the edge just a little bit more. Try a little bit more. I'm gonna, I'm, there we go. I want you to kind of keep your scapula, pinch, kind of pinch these shoulder blades together. Very good. Keep your thumb up. Can you hold that? Very good. Okay, I'm gonna apply some pressure and I want you to try to resist me, okay? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Is that as far as you can go? Yep. That's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> Pretty so, weak. That's okay, that's okay. Go ahead and have a seat back. Sit back up. We've got to start somewhere, right? Right. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Now, we're going to move on to some exercises and we're almost done, okay? okay. I know you've been, a, you've been really patient with me today. So, one of our first exercises.
guys, and we're just gonna kind of just um, lean on, on your left arm, okay? Yep, I'm gonna do this with you on the opposite side. Okay. So I want you just to kind of place your hand there. Keep your shoulder blade down, back. Very okay. good. And I want you just to kind of, while keeping the, the shoulder correct, in correct posture, you're leaning, you're just putting some weight on that left arm, okay? As much as you can without causing too much pain, okay? Okay. You're kind of keeping your shoulder blades down, ish. Very good. Count for one, two, three, four, five. Sit back up. Good. How's that feel? That's okay. It's a little bit painful. It's gonna be tender, and that's yeah. normal. But again, we're just trying to keep it from being unbearably painful, okay? Okay. Let's try it again. Count for five. Lean in. One, two, three, four, five. Sit up. And one more. One, two, three, four, five. Sit up. We're gonna try for about eight reps, okay? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's four. And sit up, lean in. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's all I can do. Okay. It's starting to become a little bit painful. Okay, no, that's fine. We go and we just go with what we can, okay? Okay. Let's see here. You're doing well, though. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to. I don't know if you've used this before, we're going to do something called like a body plank. Okay, so if you want, you can go ahead and stand up for me. I'm going to grab this real quick. And then basically with this exercise, we're going to do very small movements, okay? So okay. I want you to try to, so we're going to keep it maintained. So you see how this kind of moves just a little bit back and forth? Mm -hmm. You're going to do that, but you're going to kind of maintain this in that kind of scaption motion, okay? And I want you to try to maintain it with keeping that arm up, okay? Okay. So you're just going to kind of let it move back and forth just a very little, okay? And again, I'm just going to be right here making sure that you you keep your scapula just right. So you go ahead and just try to go ahead and two, three, four, five. Relax. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Is that too much? Let's do a few more. Let's see, okay. let's see what you can do, okay? If we can go to, get to eight, great. If not, we'll just start with where we are, okay? Okay. Go ahead. One, two, four, five, six. Very good. And one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still not too good. No, I'm getting a little tired. Can you do one more? I can try one more. Okay. You're still keeping that range of motion that you're, you're that right, that kind of good posture. That's what we want, okay? okay? I'd rather you do a few with poor posture than try to do too many and not and kind of lose that that shoulder setting, okay? Okay. So that's what we're going for. So that's fine. Okay. So we did about five of those today. This is good though. This is where we want to be. Okay. Now we're gonna do one more exercise. Call that a day, okay? okay? You're probably getting pretty tired. So we're gonna come over to the wall, okay? Okay. We're gonna just pretend like we're cleaning the wall. Okay. We're gonna have you do some of our janitorial work today. So basically with this towel, you're just gonna be wiping the wall, okay? okay. So we're gonna Seems start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds simple. All right. We're gonna start with kind of some of those same motions, so kind of that scaption motion, kind of where it's diagonal, then you move up and down. You're gonna go for about five to six of these again, okay? okay? And then we're going to do some extra range of motion. We're going to move into some forward. I want you to watch my hand. You see my hand moving forward? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to move into some back motion. I don't know if you can see my fingers. You see how I'm kind of rotating, rotating back. back? Okay. That's what I want you to do. You're going to rotate in and rotate back. Okay. So let's start with this one first, okay? I'm just up and down. Go. Yep, up and down. And then you turn to the side, or do you want me straight on? Let's start straight on. Let's do some flexion and extension ones first. And then we'll move around, okay? Just so go up ahead. and down. Wipe up and down. Good. As far as you can. Keep it going. Good, good. Yep, good. How many of these? We're going to go for eight if you can. Is it too much? No, I think it's okay. Okay. So you're kind of pull, pinching your scapulas back? Yeah. Five. 
Okay. Okay, good. Now let's move to like that diagonal motion that we had earlier, the scaption motion. You're kind of diagonal, like that. Like it. Yeah, and now you're gonna go up and down in that motion, okay? Just keeping in that plane. Kind of pinch the shoulder blade back. There we go, keep that set. And do eight of those as well, okay? Okay, okay keep pushing this back. There we go, perfect. Do some internal and external range of motion, okay? Side to the side? Yeah. Again, I'm going to kind of stand behind you and I'm going to make sure you keep your scapulas right, forward, okay? Like yeah. this? Okay, forward, yep. Yeah. As far as you can. And back as far as you can. Very good. That's okay. Just go slow. Don't think you're too slow. Kind of bring your shoulder over to the side. Very good. Okay. Keep pinching your scapula. Too painful? No, it's okay. Okay. Just do what you can, okay? Okay. I'm having a split all over. Okay, so that's okay. Let's see, we stopped at five. Yes, five. That's okay. Like I said, we start with where we are and we just work from there, okay? Okay. How are you doing? You did well today. Yeah, my pain level definitely feel. went up. Okay, what would you say it's at right now? I'd give it at least a seven. Seven? Yeah. Is it any more than a seven? No, it's about a seven. Then. Okay, so it stays about seven. That's okay, Adrian. So we finished the scapula swipes. Let's go ahead and we're going to move on to our last treatment today. So we're going to do some ESIM and we're actually going to also put on a hot pack on your shoulder. Um, do you know what your ESIM is? I don't think so. Okay, it's short for electrical stimulation. It's actually, um, what we're doing today is called interferential. And that's really, it's just electrical currents and it's going to be kind of sending those waveforms through your muscles and really what this is for is just to help those muscles relax and kind of decrease some of that inflammation that we worked up a little bit from the treatment okay. um, but it's really good to help kind of decrease some of that pain after working in the muscles okay. that we did today yeah, and then great. the hot pack will also feel really good do you generally respond well to heat yeah heat okay. would be great mm -hmm. okay excellent let's come on over here so we'll do that What I'm actually going to do is just to kind of help with your posture, I'm going to stick this pillow in here. Go ahead and sit back down. That should help with some of your posture. Does that feel yeah. good? Okay. You're sitting up a little bit straighter. That's what we want. So now tell me exactly where you're having the pain right now on your shoulder. Just right around here. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going to do four pad placements on your shoulder. Okay. Yeah. So let's see here. I'm, is it okay if I move your shoulder yeah. a little bit? There we go. Just to get it right there. Make sure they stick. Okay. Let's get this all hooked up and get it started. going to go ahead and hand this to you right now. Okay. This is like a call button. So if any time throughout the treatment, if you feel like the it gets to be just uncomfortable or if you need something checked, just give that a buzz and we'll, someone will come in and check on that for you. So okay. I'm just going to reach these. I'm going to reach it around you. So. 
it's just gonna feel good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's you're gonna have you're gonna feel a tingling, and it's you're definitely gonna feel it, but you're also gonna notice the muscles relaxing after just a couple minutes of doing that. So. Your muscles probably feel tired more than anything right now after doing yeah. the exercises that we did. So. Okay, excellent. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this up and I'm going to just kind of increase the intensity and I want you to let me know when you feel a tingling, okay? Okay. Do you feel anything yet? No. Starting You're it. starting to feel it? Okay. Now, let me know, do you feel, is this comfortable still? Yes. This comfortable? That's good. Okay. Is this too much? Or That's no? good. Okay. Let's leave it right here then. I'm going to head and it's at 15 minutes. Okay. I'm going to press start. And then I'm also going to go ahead and put the hot pack on, okay? Okay. As long as you're comfortable sitting there, this should just kind of sit nice on your shoulder, okay? All right. Let's see if we need to look off. Does that feel okay? Is it too heavy? No, it feels good. Is it just going to fall off on you? It looks like it's it's sitting nice as long mm, as it doesn't feel. It feels like it might fall off. It feels like it might fall off. Yeah, it that's does. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. There you go. As long as it's affecting these muscles right on top of the shoulder that we're working on, that's what you want to know. Okay. 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 Thank you. Now I'm gonna let you sit here for a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and check on the um, check on the spinner and make sure everything looks good. And I'm also gonna go over the um, how much it says that we're gonna do. All right. For you, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Adrian. It's been a couple about five minutes or so. I'm gonna check underneath the hot pack just to make sure everything looks good okay okay so it does doing nice and things how's it feeling right now feels feel good relaxed yeah, yeah. feels okay. great good 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 let's put this back on is that comfortable still yeah okay wonderful uh, it feels like it might fall off might still think yeah yeah that's good. better okay there we go okay all right i'm just going to sit here and explain this real quick while we finish your treatment up um, this is your home exercise program, and this is just going to be a couple of activities that you can do throughout your day to okay. kind of help maintain that range of motion that we got during treatment today, um, as well as some of that, just that strength and that mobility that we got with your shoulder, because our goal is to try to maintain what we gain through treatment, and that's going to help us get to your, our goals okay. of just kind of reaching the range of motion sooner, okay? So um, these are really simple. We're going to do some of the, um, the stretching that we did today with the thumb up. And we're going to do some abduction, internal rotation, external rotation motions. So just what we did today in treatment. So it's going to be really simple. It's only going to take you a couple minutes. And then we're going to do some, um, I want you to do some of those side marines that we did today. Where you were laying, yep, just putting weight right through that shoulder. Um, and just do a couple reps of those. I have them written down here. And then we're going to do a little bit of stretching. And this should only take a couple minutes. If you can do it once or twice a day, that'd be great. Shoot for twice a day, once in the morning and once in the later part of the day if you're able to. I should be able to do that. Good. Yeah, tomorrow you might feel a little sore. So this might be a little bit tender when you're going through it, mm -hmm. but just do what you can. And then the next day you shouldn't be quite as sore and you should notice yourself. Should get better. Yeah, gaining more motion. You probably won't feel quite so tender and stiff as you keep it up, okay? All right, that'd be great. Great, great. Do you have any questions right now? No, thanks so. Okay, I'm gonna let you finish your treatment real quick and then I'll be back and we'll get everything set to go, okay? Sounds good, thank, thank you. you. I'm gonna leave this right here for you, okay? okay. All right, so the timer went off. How are you feeling right now? Feels much better. Good.
and scratch it and see exactly should okay. make sure that hurts me not so yeah that felt really good good there we go thank you mm -hmm. There we go. All right, Adrian. And what we're going to do just real quick for you can get on your way. But again, do you have any last minute questions that I can answer for you? Nope, I think that's good. Okay, excellent. It's been great working with you. You too, thank you. Have you. a good night today, okay? You too. All right, bye.